No, you can render your opponent unconscious. You can render your opponent incapacitated. There's different goals for different scenarios. <laughs> control him. Control him. Take okay. back, Lopez. Take back. Take back. back. Once you got the positions, Lopez, put weight on him. Combatives gives you the tools where if someone confronts you, maybe with the potential of physical violence, you can just defuse the situation. Being part of the military, I think that's an integral part of um, serving. And especially when you deploy, you never know what situation you're going to run into where combatives are going to play a big part in you getting back alive. It's applicable while deployed and in garrison. So considering it has more applications than everyday training, I think it does definitely deserve a spot in any unit um, training calendar. You don't want to always just pull your weapon on somebody and intimidate them, okay? That's not good for, you know, our relations, that's not good for our image. You know, if, if someone confronts you physically and you can just defuse the situation without using your weapon, that, that helps every party involved. That's your position. I'm training with the Marines in uh, McMap, the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program. And even though we, we're, we're separate branches, but because we're training together, it kind of brings us together as a team. I think it's great. I think everyone should learn how to do it.